Hi friends, welcome. My name is Michelle, if we don't know each other already. This is a fluid Hatha practice. We're going to work with twisting today. Parivrita is the Sanskrit we usually use, these twisting poses, which can be translated roughly as a turning of the heart. And I love to think of it in that way rather than just twisting or revolving, but this turning of the heart, because in other movements of the heart, right? Like when we think about heart opening shapes and in life, <laughs> it's most easeful and most sustainable if that movement comes from the root, right? If it's supported. And so at least when I'm teaching, when we're moving toward a heart opening shape, we're going to consider how we're rooted into the earth, what's hugging in and supporting that openness and that spaciousness. So the same thing is true in a turning of the heart, right? in revolving. And the tricky thing is that in our bodies, the most flexible part of the spine is cervical spine. Right? And you could just think about like, it's much easier to turn your head than it is to turn your whole torso, right? So when we think about initiating a twist, that might be where we go. Just instinctively, we might turn the head and then kind of force everything else to catch up, right? And it feels forced. Yeah, it's not easeful. So what I want to offer, what I want to encourage today is a turning that comes again, that's supported from the roots, right? From the earth and that comes from center so that it's more a rotation of the core and the rib cage and the heart and the shoulders and then the head. The head is playing catch up with the heart instead of the other way around. <laughs> okay, that's what we're gonna play with today. Um, frequently in twisting postures and indeed today, it will be really helpful to have a block. Um, that can be a yoga block, that can be a sturdy book that you can put some weight on, that can be, you know, a can of vegetables or whatever, <laughs> like anything you've got around that's sturdy, um, that can just bridge the distance between your hand and the floor. So have that nearby, but we'll start in a seat. When we move, it'll be from a cross-legged seat, but if you'd rather start in a different way, um, feel free to do that these first couple moments. Finding a posture that is supported, relaxed, open. And as you sort of settle in, really think about what that means to be open, maybe just open to breath. Like if your hands are on your knees, like mine. What happens if you just move them in toward your hips? Maybe fold them in your lap instead of on your thighs or let your hands fall toward the earth. Just to see. How is it that you can breathe most freely? And then support yourself to be in that space. In this practice, when we pause in a shape it's important to remember that we're not stopping, we're not stuck there. 
but breathing there. So allow yourself to be easeful, allow breath to move through whatever shape you're in. That breath alone is a beautiful intention for practice, a spaciousness of breath. But if there's something else you're wanting to layer on, dedication or a focus for your practice, bring that to mind and into your breath, into your bones, so that all the shapes become about that. And then we'll amplify intention and breath and all that connects us with the sound of OM together. So just let it be that, an amplification of resonance and breath that already exists. Feel yourself breathe deeply. Let that breath go. And then toward Om, a breath in. Blink your eyes open if you like. Allow your breath to expand into movement, whatever sort of stretching, <laughs> rolling around you need to do, or moving from where you are to a cross-legged seat. And we'll start with the left shin in front of the right. Allow yourself to get comfortable there for a moment. Move around in your rib cage, move around in your pelvis, your shoulders if you need to. And then find that sort of centered place. Take a breath, press down through your legs and through your sitting bones and up through the crown of your head, which is kind of in the center. Yeah. Feel that spaciousness, the length of your torso. And to keep that length as much as you can as you start to pour yourself forward. Let your hands find the earth. There could be a little bit of movement, a little bit of sway, but let your thighs and your hips stay rooted to the earth. Wherever you are, be sure you could take this full breath in all the way up through the back of your lungs between your shoulders. An easy breath out. And then from here, begin to walk your hands to the left. So you're still folding, yeah, but walking to the left a bit more, as much as feels comfortable. Again, Press back and down through your right thigh, your right butt cheek, and forward through the crown of your head, drawing your ears away from your shoulders. Still breathing here. And then begin to walk your hands more to the left, but begin to sit up into a twist. So the left hip is drawing back, your left ribs are drawing back. Then your left shoulder rolls back as you sit tall into a twist. Yeah. Again, press down into the earth through both legs, up through the center. Roll your left shoulder back so it kind of softens. Again, no force here. Find a full breath in, fill your torso up and down into the earth. Release your breath. Release the twist, lean back, 
to bring your knees toward the ceiling and they can either stay with your toes on the earth or pick up your feet more like a boat pose, Navasana. Either way, reach forward, kind of a little bit higher than your legs so you have space to maneuver. And then again, from the base of your spine and from the bottom of your rib cage, start to rotate to the left, pulling your left arm back like a bow. And if you like, if it feels okay in your shoulders, you can open the left arm behind you. But let that left shoulder stay relaxed. Find a breath in, breath out, back towards center. Cross your right shin in front of your left to sit in that cross-legged shape again, but on the other side. Yeah, cool, did we make it? <laughs> we survived a tiny bit of engagement there. Again, press down through both legs, sit tall. Keep the length as you fold forward. But try to stay rooted to the earth at the back, even as you pour forward. Allow a full breath in. Stay open with the breath out. And then begin slowly to walk your hands to the right. Get as long as you can in this left side of your torso, drawing back and down through your left hip. At the same time, there's kind of a drawing back of the right hip just to Keep that spaciousness of the right rib cage. Right ribs, I should say. You don't have two rib cages. Keep walking your hands to the right and draw back through your right ribs, back through your right shoulder, and rise into a seated twist. Still, press through both legs, lift through your crown. Gently twist, soften into the twist. A breath here. Release the twist to bring your knees up toward the ceiling. Keep your toes on the earth or lift your feet, Navasana boat pose. Press down through your sits bones, up through the crown of your head. Your shoulders are open. Your hands reach forward just above your knees and then pull your right arm back like you're pulling back a bow. Stay there or open your right arm behind you. So like for me, I have less mobility in my right shoulder, so I'm not gonna open my right arm all the way up. I'm just gonna stay with my elbow leading here. A breath in, a breath out, release. We're coming toward a tabletop shape now. So you can again cross your legs and roll over or however you need to get there. Really, we're just here to settle a little movement in the spine and to root through your hands. Find a hug in through your arm bones and down into the earth and see if that might encourage a hugging up underneath you, up through your belly toward your spine. Maybe a little puffing up, <laughs> just a little bit of that space between the shoulder blades. At the same time, lengthen your tail back, your crown forward. Keep all that, tuck your toes behind you. Find a hug also through your legs in and up toward the center. Perhaps hover your knees an inch or two off the earth. So just finding this core engagement at the beginning because we'll use it <laughs> throughout in these twists. Keep that hug inward and the length of your spine as you press your hips back and up at Ho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Full body breath in, breath out. A good moment to come back toward intention. 
leaving space for breath, allowing as much space as possible within you for breath to move. And if there's other intention you're working with, allow that to move also freely throughout. Keep the engagement, keep the length. Lift your hips till your heels lift. Begin to walk your feet forward to the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Full body breath in. Breath out, hang heavy. Soften your knees. But as you do so, really root down through the four corners of each foot. And in that rooting, feel yourself draw up through the inner legs, up into the center, down through the outer feet. Press into the earth and come all the way to stand. Draw strength from your belly as you rise. Press through your feet more to stand tall, reach tall. Hook your thumbs overhead just for support. Use an inhale to again press down into your feet and up through your fingers. Reach up and over to the right with an exhale. Stay open, press through your feet, reach tall. Exhale up and over to the left. Stay open in this right side, keep rolling your right ribs back. Inhale, up toward the ceiling. Exhale, Utkatasana. Settle your hips back, bend your knees. And we'll sweep the arms back too. Pausing here this first time. Let the back of your neck be long, so that probably means you're like looking sort of toward the floor, right? Because if you look straight ahead, you're probably breaking that line of the back of your neck and cutting off your breath. Settle your hips back the crown of your head forward, but in alignment at the back of your neck. Press through both feet, hug in through your legs, you're sort of spiraling your inner thighs back. All of this engagement we keep, yeah, as we move. Next inhale, press through your feet, stay low, just reach your arms long along your ears. With your exhale, sweep your left arm back to twist. Your right arm stays forward. Inhale, reach forward again. Everything else stays steady. Exhale, draw your right arm back. And again, it's your right ribs that draw back first, then your arm. Inhale, forward. Exhale, left ribs draw back, then your left arm back. Shift your weight to the left to sort of free your right heel, let your right foot get light, and then step it toward the back of the mat. Your choice to stay here or bring your back knee down. Yeah, but in any case, find a hug in through both legs, down into the earth through your left foot, and up through the crown of your head. Feel, again, your left ribs draw back. Your left shoulder draws back and softens down. Breath in. Breath out. The back leg is strong. Stay open across your shoulders, across your chest. Tip forward, your right hand to the earth. And from here, I want to bring the left hand onto like the small of your back or onto your, the back of your pelvis. Because often in these little twists, by the way, you're welcome to have a block under your right hand. Yeah, to support you a bit more. So sometimes when we open the left arm, then we're just trying to lead from there and the left arm gets behind you and you feel like you're twisting more, but it's just in your arm, right? You're just stressing out your shoulder. So instead, let's keep the left hand on the low back and just focus on a little lift through the right hip so it's even with the left, a rotation of the spine, right? From the base of the spine, rotate, open your heart to the left. 
lengthen, press back through your right heel, forward through your crown, breathe. Press down through your right hand so you feel spacious in the right side too. Full body breath in. Breath out. Unwind both hands to the earth. Bring your weight forward. Step forward. Fold. Uttanasana. A breath in. A breath out. Press into the earth and rise, reach tall. Hook your thumbs. Let's go left first this time, up and over. Keep rolling your right ribs back. Press through both feet, reach tall. Up and over to the right. Left ribs draw back. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit back, reach your crown forward, sweep your arms back. But just like there's kind of a hug in and back through your thighs, could there be a hug in and back through your arm bones? Breath in, breath out, settle back. Stay low, reach your arms forward. Sweep your right arm back, and again, maybe just the elbow goes back, that's okay. Inhale, reach forward. No hurry, you got the whole exhale to sweep your left arm back. Your legs stay steady. Inhale, forward. Exhale, right ribs back, right arm back. Shift your weight right. Begin to release slowly from the left heel. Lighten up in the left toes. Then reach your left toes to the back of the mat. Parivrita Anjaniasana, revolved lunge. Again, feel free to bring the back knee down. Helpful for stability, yeah? In any case, whether you're up or down, hug in through both legs. Get strong through both legs. Right foot presses down, your right shin forward. Your right ribs draw back. Full body breath here. Again, playing around to find where there's space for breath. And then keep that and stay open. Stay long as you can in your body so you're not just collapsing to the floor, right? You're reaching forward and then bringing your left hand down to the earth where you can find your block, the right hand to the small of your back or a bit lower the back of your pelvis. So left fingertips are on the earth or left hand on a block. Draw your shoulders and your ears in the opposite directions. And since I'm turned away from you, it might be easier to see. Sometimes this back, in this case the left hip, gets a bit low right? Because we're trying to twist open. So instead, think about a little lift through the left hip just so it's even with the right. And then rotate again from the base and from your right ribs rolling back, your left ribs rolling under to twist. Then your right shoulder rolls back. Maybe you could peek a little bit toward the ceiling with your right eye. But press down through your left hand, through the whole of your left hand. Press up and back through your left thigh. Find a breath in. A breath out. One more breath in. Extend, extend. Stay open. Exhale. Both hands to the earth. Release the block. This time let's step back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Full body breath in. Breath out. Press down through your feet, even if your whole feet are, probably your whole feet are not on the floor, but press down through what is. Feel your legs sort of energetically root down, even as you lift up through your hip creases. Press down through your left hand till your right hand gets lighter. 
you'll feel probably instinctually a little lift and engagement through your core. Keep that. See if you might reach your right hand toward your left shin. And stay just for a breath. Press through your left hand. Stay open at the back of your heart. And replace your right hand down. Just an exploration. It's a little self-inquiry. Yeah, just to see what's going on. Lift through the center. Press through your right hand until the left one gets light. Try not to move anything else. Then reach your left hand toward your right shin or your right calf. For a whole breath, press down. Keep the space along your spine. Left hand back to the earth. Press down through both hands now. Press through your left foot. Lift your right foot behind you. Lift through your hips. Round your spine, right knee in toward your chest. Just step forward. Stabilize before we go anywhere else. Already find that hug into your legs. Down through your right foot to let your hands get lighter. Reach forward, arms along your ears, breath in, exhale, sweep your right arm back, lift your crown, <laughs> lift your spine toward that twist again, we've been here, hug in, expand out, inhale, extend through your spine, tip forward and down, this time, right hand could still be at the back of your pelvis. This time, bring the block outside your right foot. Yeah, so at any height, press your left hand into the block. Keep drawing your right hip back. Roll your heart to the right and open. If you want to play with opening your right arm to the sky, make sure with that, with that inner inquiry, right, your inner mirror, that your right arm is reaching straight out from your right shoulder, it doesn't get behind you. But stay a breath in, lengthen a breath out. Right hand back to your pelvis if it's not already. Let your left hand come down from the block and in front of you. Bring your weight forward to step forward. Left hand could come to the block again as we find just a, re a revolution in this forward fold to press down through both feet. Begin to roll your right ribs back. Press through your left hand into the earth. Roll your right shoulder back. Maybe, but for most of us, this would mean the right arm goes kind of out to the side. But if you like, you can bring your right arm out from your shoulder, but lengthen your spine, tail back, crown forward, and then release, let it go. Full body breath in, breath out. Rise to stand, breath in and up. This time, peel your elbows wide, bend your elbows toward the earth. We'll find, as I was describing earlier, the support for a little heart opening shape. So press down through your feet, hug in through your legs, in and up through your belly. to so lift your heart, draw your arm bones toward each other like a platform for your heart to rest on. Reach up with your sternum, and then maybe you lean it back a little bit more, but keep rooted through both feet. Keep the hug in and up, breath in. Breath out, inhale, climb your spine back up, reach tall. Exhale, draw your hands down through heart center. And we find this here to emphasize that drawing in toward center and the drawing in toward intention as well. Press down through your right foot. Might even just make sure your right knee is not locked out. I was going to say soften your right knee, but just make sure it's not locked. But pour your weight into your right foot. Again, loosen up the left foot off the earth. 
and draw your left knee up. Nah, I was gonna say, <laughs> again, not in toward your chest really, but like a 90 degree-ish angle. Feel like a hug between your left thigh and your chest. Kind of hug this space in between. Bring your right hand on top of your left thigh. Press down through your right foot, lift up through your right thigh, your right hip, the right side of your torso. Reach your left arm forward. And then to twist here, again, pull back through your left ribs. Keep pressing your right palm into your left hand to keep the core engagement. Either pull back through your left elbow only or open across. Yeah. Press through your right foot, extend through your spine, twist, maybe then your chin, your eyes start to move to the left too. Find a breath in, a breath out. Both feet find the earth, chair pose, reach both arms tall. Sweep your arms back. Reach both arms tall, still in your chair pose. Once more, draw your left ribs back, open the left arm or left elbow back. Shift your weight left. Step your right toes to the back of the mat. Hug in. Expand out, soften into the twist. Both arms to the sky. Sorry, both arms forward. Sweep this time your right arm back, warrior two. Virabhadrasana. Press down through both feet and hug in. Expand out. Breathing here, so almost like a counter pose to the twisting. It's a wide open shape, but still one that requires strength, right? Steadiness. Full body breath in, expand. Exhale, both hands down to the earth. Step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Press down through your right foot, reach your left toes back and up. Keep the lift through your hips, hug in, left knee toward your chest, step forward. Gather strength before we go anywhere else, hug in and down through the left foot, reach forward. So get really long, you're like an arrow extending out. Sweep your left arm back, twist. Been here before, Parivrita Anjayanasana. Down through your left foot, forward through your left shin. Really strong through your back leg, hug in. Extend out. Hinge forward. Right hand finds the earth or the block. Left hand to the back of your sacrum. This block goes again outside now your left foot. Press down into it just as much as you're pressing down through your left foot. Extend through your back leg, extend your crown forward, rotate. From your belly pulling back into your spine, your left ribs rolling back, then maybe the left shoulder. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Release the block, both hands down to the earth. We step forward, fold Uttanasana. The right hand stays down, again, maybe on the block. The left hand to your sacrum. Press down through your feet, up through your sitting bones, forward through your crown, and then again, begin the rotation. Press down through your right hand, rotate open. Stay open and long through your torso. And again, if I were to reach my left arm straight up, it wouldn't really be out of the, it would kind of be behind 
my shoulder socket. So it kind of has to come forward a bit. Breath in, lengthen. Breath out, soften into the twist. And release down to the earth. Full body breath in. And breath out. Press into the earth, come up to stand, reach tall. And again, peel your elbows open wide and down. Down through your feet, in and up through your legs, in and up through the center as you lean back. Breath in, remember if you can't breathe, you probably went a little too far, breath out. Inhale, gather it back up, reach tall. Exhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sweep your arms back. Just here for a breath, so really dive in, hug through your arms, hug through your legs. Both arms forward, press through your left foot, draw your right knee toward your chest. Almost skip this. I know you would have been sad. Press down into your left foot, but lift up through your left thigh, through the whole left side of your torso is lifting up. Left hand to your right thigh. And feel them press into each other, engage at the center. Draw back through your right elbow or your right arm. I should say right elbow or right fingers. Press back behind you, down into the floor, up into the ceiling. Open up. Breathe. One more full body breath. Press down through both feet. Arms reach forward. Right arm back. Again, press through your right foot. Stepping your left toes back behind you. Twist here just a hug in. Expand out. Both arms reach forward. Sweep your left arm back. Spin your left heel down. Virabhadrasana, warrior two. Hug in and down, but then enjoy the openness, the spaciousness that's here. And breathe. Both hands spin down to earth. Step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog, full body breath in. Breath out. Lift through your hips till your heels lift. Pull your knees, both knees, toward your wrists as your knees come down to the earth. A tabletop shape, extend through your spine. And feel free to find some movement if it feels good. Just a couple more twisty things here. Press down through your right hand. And just as before in downward facing dog, as you lighten up your left hand, reach it for your right thigh or your right shin. But keep the space. So if you feel yourself sort of crumpling up, Extend your spine, draw your right ribs back. Extend your crown forward. Then keep pressing through your right hand, but peel your left elbow or left fingers open to the sky. And then same thing, lengthen your spine here. Reach your left arm back behind you. So kind of along your hip, you can stay here or extend your left, your right leg back, a little balance, or bend your right knee behind you, capture your foot. Which to me really helps encapsulate that length and openness. Kick back through your right chin, pull forward through your heart, rotate your whole rib cage, not just your shoulder and your head. Yeah, breath in. Breath out where you are. Release hands and knees back to the earth. Breath in. Breath out. Ready for the other side? 
If not, <laughs> give yourself another breath or two. But shift your weight into your left hand. Know that your whole body is supported, right? You're hugged in and up and open. Then reach your right hand across toward your left thigh. It may not reach it, right? But you're reaching in that direction or toward your left shin if you've got super long arms. Press down, lift through your belly, rotate through the heart, turning of the heart, lengthen. Keep the length. Keep the root down through your left hand. Begin to open right elbow or right fingertips toward the ceiling. Press down through both legs. Rotate through the heart. Push through the left hand and lengthen. Full body breath. Reach your right arm sort of toward the back of the mat. Stay there. Just a stretch here, crown forward, fingers back. Or extend your left heel back, lifting through your belly to support your lumbar spine. And, and or bend your left knee, capture your left ankle. But again, instead of letting your shoulder do all the work, rotate your heart to the right from the rib cage. Draw your shoulders away from your ears, your crown forward, your shin back, find a breath in, a breath out. Release slow and steady as you can. Breath in, breath out. Walk your hands back toward your knees, rise to stand on your shins. Just take a moment to just be open here, just like Tadasana at the top of the mat. Yeah, we're just on the knees instead of the feet. Let your shoulders roll back, let your palms open forward. Just take a moment. Feel yourself rooting down into the earth. Hug in through both legs. Maybe that brings some lightness. Hug in and up through the center, in and up, even up through your sternum. Reach forward. Draw your left elbow or left arm back from the rib cage. Press it down through your shins, up through your crown. Stay with the exhale. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, your right ribs drop back, right elbow or fingers reach back. You keep your right hip sort of drawing forward. That's where the twist is happening. Breath in. Stay with the exhale. You inhale, reach forward and up. Peel your elbows wide. Feel your hip points begin to draw forward a bit, but hug in again through both legs, in and up and back near lumba, an unsupported or independent ustrasana, camel pose. Breath in, breath out. Gather yourself back up. Reach forward and we'll come toward that ustrasana once more, the camel pose. So you could find that near lumba again or bring your hands to your sacrum. But even if your hands are rooted, don't dump all your weight in them, right? Hug in and up through your legs, in and up through your belly. Your arm bones draw toward each other to lift the heart. Breathe. Let your next inhale climb your spine back up. Let your hips sit back down to your heels. Take a moment just here, recollecting. Feel the vibrations of your own movement, the prana, the energy that's moving through, even in stillness.
slow and steady. As you're ready, you'll blink your eyes open. Let your hips fall to the right so that you're right here, leaning on your right hip. I'm gonna keep this right foot sort of tucked in toward your bum, but you can use your left hand if you need to, to pick up your left foot and place it on the outside of your right thigh. And then this left hip that's probably lifted, encourage it back down toward the earth. Yeah. You can stay with your hands at your sides. You can hug or hold on to this left shin. But see what happens if you press this left foot, this twisted up foot, down into the floor to lift your crown up. And then you can just stay here and kind of enjoy this stretch, the outside of your left hip, or hug your shin with your right arm and begin to draw back through your left ribs to twist. Breath in, lengthen. Breath out, soften into the twist. We're here for three more breaths. If you like, you can bring this right arm into the outside of your left leg. Get a little more twisty since we're so warm for that. But soften in. Let the experimentation be for self-inquiry, not comparison. I think that three breaths was more like five, so let's let that go. And then just to, you know, release and have a little fun, we're going to switch sides by spinning around. Yeah. So leave your legs as they are. This left foot stays planted. Bring your hands down to the right. Lift your booty. Twist yourself around. You'll be at the back of your mat. Keep twisting around. Now, bending your knees down to the earth. Your left hip is on the earth. If that spinny thing didn't work, just sit down, it's fine. <laughs> left hip is on the earth. Your left heel tucked in next to your bum. The right foot comes to cross outside your left thigh. And then settle your right bum toward the earth. And breathe. See what happens. Experiment with pressing down through this right foot on the earth and up through your crown. You can stay right here. Or you can begin to draw your right ribs back. Twisting, you can hug your right thigh with your left arm. Pull back and then soften into the twist. Don't force it. Be where you are. Stay here, again, open to breath. Or if you like, you can nudge this left arm to the outside of your right thigh. But again, although you can do so without force. Staying open to breath on all sides of your body. When you're ready, release the twist, bring both hands back behind you, and just unpretzel your legs, feet to the earth. Press down through your hands and your feet. Open up, let your sternum lift up toward the ceiling. Press down into the earth. You can stay right here or lift your hips toward reverse tabletop shape. But where you are, press into the earth, find that hug in to open up. 
full body breath in, breath out, and then begin to release back down to earth. Extend your heels forward. Feel free to, uh, if you feel your lower back rounding, might sit up on the block that you've been using or get a second one too. Sit up on the block so that your pelvis can tip forward and you can pour yourself forward over your legs. Paschimottanasana. Folding over your legs. And for me, I like to find a good long spine first. And try to keep that as I fold down. Keep the engagement. For a few breaths. But then begin to support yourself enough that you can just kind of let go and fold. Yeah, so if that means bringing support, a pillow or a bolster under your knees, you can do that. You can bring support or a bolster on top of your thighs to support your rib cage. You can bring a block under your forehead. You can fold over a chair, um, like the base of a chair. That works really well. But let yourself just fold. <laughs> You've done so much engagement, so much focus. Let yourself hang, begin to relax. Tune in and in and in. Letting the gaze lead you to breath. Letting breath lead you to center. Letting center hold intention. And again, there's no hurry, but just as you're ready, you'll sort of unfurl and lay yourself down onto the mat unless you are wanting to end your practice in a seated meditation. But we're moving towards stillness. So whether you're lying on your back in Shavasana, or bringing your legs up onto that chair or onto a wall nearby, or sitting tall, Allow yourself again to be fully supported. Remind yourself here that you're fully supported, connected. But also, and also fluid, alive, breathing. Free. These are the truths that we know in this state of yoga. Allow yourself to be here, to just be.
stay in this shape as long as you like, as long as you have. I'll offer once again the sound of Om to integrate with resonance all that we've found and connected to here. And feel free to join me where you are or climb toward a seat or just to let the sound move through. After this sound, also this universal sound because it connects us through the generations across the continents and oceans. The roots of this practice, all who came before. It connects us also to each other and to what follows as we pull and hold this practice with us moving forward. Allow a full breath in, an easy breath out. Toward Om, a breath in. Allow this resonance to stay with you. From this place we're connected, we were the same. I bow to you. Be well. Be good to each other. I'll see you soon. Hey friends, Michelle here. Thanks so much for being here. It means a lot to be able to share this practice and this community with you. If you want to support what we're up to, the easiest way is to like this video, subscribe to our channel, um, maybe even leave a comment. We love hearing um, requests and feedback, whatever you want to share with us. If you want to be um, sharing this practice in real life um, here in France, we have a retreat coming up in September. We'd love to see you there too. Get all the details at the link in the description. Hope to see you before then. Be well, be good to each other.